Let's make Gamhyeong squids. It's aromatic, it's spicy, savory, sweet, full of umami, and just a burst of flavors. Now guys, first of all, I want to apologize for not having a content out for you guys last week. Uh, we just came back from Australia, as you guys know it. All of us are quite knackered, and uh, we came back straight to work. We didn't have time to film anything yet. But about Australia, dude, guys, it was amazing. The entire trip was quite an adventure. I mean, we were stranded somewhere else because our flight from Malaysia got delayed, so we couldn't catch the flight to Darwin. We're stranded somewhere else. We spent two days there because we couldn't catch, there was no sort of next flight going into Darwin. And uh, so we thought, hey, why not let's just shoot one episode of, you know, wherever we're at. So you guys, you really need to check it out once it's out, all right? We're taking a little bit of time to edit everything together right now and uh, yeah, it will be out soon. I promise you guys, okay? Right now. So, right into this recipe, Kam Hyong squids. Here I've got my squids that's just been cleaned. There we go. And we're just going to cut it to sort of nice small pieces. Not too small. These are the little ears or the wings. Let's cut it up. Tentacles. I love squid tentacles, so you know, cut them up so that everyone can have a little bit of tentacle cake. Okay. Now, for the body, a few ways to do it. You can do it ring, cut it ring, or as what I'm doing here, I will be cutting it with a little bit of a score so that when it cooks, it gets a bit of a shape. Half, so it's easier to manage. Now, you want to score the outside of the squid, not the inside, okay? Because when you cook the squid, it's the outside that sort of curls it together, sort of brings it in. So when you score the outside, yeah, you break all those tissue that will sort of hold it together. Gentle scores. You need to use a really sharp knife to do this. You don't even have to apply any pressure. Just let the knife do the work. Flip it the other side. So you have this sort of crisscross. Just cut it down. You can cut it into different shapes if you like, but yeah, it's all right. I'm just keeping the squid in the colander so that it drains out whatever uh, excess liquid. Yeah, now we're gonna prepare, start preparing our aromatics. We've got shallots, thin slice, garlic, a couple of cloves, Side. I have here some dried shrimps that I've just soaked in water for about, let's say, 10 minutes. Now we remove the liquid. The Kamhyong aromatics, or in English, it will be translated into the golden aromas. This is the base ingredients in a Kamhyong uh, dish. You've got your dried shrimps, bean paste, some curry spice, uh, shallots, garlic, and um, curry leaves. That's sort of like the base, base of Kamhyong. Dried shrimps are quite salty. It's important to sort of just give it a rinse, yeah, so we get rid of some of that sodium so it doesn't end up being too salty. There we go, mince it up. That aside. I've got some dried chilies. Now this is an addition that I just like my food a little bit spicier, but you don't have to add this in if um, you don't like spice. There we go. Dried chilies on the side, seeds removed. All right, and here we have our curry leaves. Important, yeah, very, very important, curry leaves. So now, what I'm doing, I'm preheating the wok, yeah, because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first flash fry the squid. Now, what happens when we flash fry the squids? It gets rid of all that excess water that's in the squid. Squid uh, contains a lot, a lot of water, a lot, a lot of moisture. So we're going to remove that moisture so that doesn't sort of dilute our kamhyong or our sauce. Okay, oil goes in and in with the squid. Give it a quick toss around. Put the squid in, yeah, you're getting all that moisture that's out. And these are the moistures that we do not want in the sauce, okay? And you do not want to overcook the squid, so this is about done. I've rinsed the colander, and this goes back up. Okay, give the wok a quick rinse, and we're ready to go again. Now, in with a little bit of oil, shallots and garlic goes in. 
and get them nice and aromatic. All right, once you see that it's almost turning color, in with the dried shrimps. There we go. Once you put the dried shrimp in, that smell so, so good. Now, we're adding in the fermented bean paste. Give that a quick stir. Beautiful. You can smell the sweetness from the fermented bean paste. Curry powder. Mix it all in together. Curry leaves in. The dried chilies in. You can smell all of it sort of just coming together. Squid goes back in. Nice. Now we add a little bit of water. A little bit of oyster sauce, not too much. A little bit of dark caramel sauce. There we go, stir everything together. And here's the thing, squid cooks really, really quickly. So you do not want to overcook this squid. This is almost done. Give it a quick taste. So good. Quick pinch of salt, small, tiny pinch of salt. Stir everything well, and this is ready to be served. Smell, you can smell the dried shrimps, the curry leaves, the spices, the bean paste. That's what makes a beautiful, beautiful come here. A little bit of garnish, the white parts of the spring onion, because it's nice and sort of pungent and very, very refreshing. It's a nice bunch on the top. Look at this amount of liquid that's been drawn out of the squid. So imagine if we had not sort of flash fried the squid, we'll get all this squid water inside the campion, which uh, is not going to be great. Um, and it's really going to dilute the aromatics and the sauces that we put inside the squid. So this is no good. And there you have it, guys. This is your campion squids. Mm, it smells so, so appetizing. It's one of those dishes, you, all you need is this and maybe fried egg and, and uh, nice hot rice. Mm. Right. So much of flavour going on, like you get the dried shrimps. It's spicy but not too spicy, you know what I mean? So it really is something that you can adjust to your liking. But you get that nice dried shrimps in there and the dried shrimps, because it's minced, you still sort of have that nice texture of dried shrimps, yeah? Let's get some of the tentacles going in. Mm. I'm not a believer in like using different things to tenderize a squid. Just don't overcook it, you know? Um, they're very, very delicate and the moment you overcook it, there's really nothing much you can do about it. You're just gonna end up with chewy squids. Um, so just be mindful, you know? A quick 30 second flash fry, remove it and then you know maybe another minute in the pan or in the wok together with all the other ingredients together just for it to incorporate with everything else it should it's good enough even if you're looking for like a midnight snack with beers this kamyong stuff dude will just keep you going and going and going now it's important always note Rinse your shrimp. Rinse your dried shrimp. Yeah, if not, this dish is going to end up very, very salty. All right, guys, any more, and you guys won't have anything else to eat. Done. I'll see you guys next week. Oh, yeah. Guys, if you've enjoyed this content, uh, please do click the like and subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Uh, share it with your friends. If you find this helpful and you think your friends might like it, take care, guys. I'll see you next week. Ciao.